Why do musicians put rosin on their violin bow? Keep it from warping. You're really not familiar with rosin. Well, it's like, it's like tree wax, like tree sap. Do you know what this is? Uh, so they don't catch fire? It's, uh, you use this stuff like to play the cello, yeah. for example. Yeah. In English, we, we call it a bow. Do you play violin? No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> but I do science. So, we're going to do some experiments to see if we can figure out why violinists rosin their bow. The first thing we're going to do is we need to understand a little bit about sound. Everybody's seen this silly party trick, right? Who can do this? Who's done this before? What's making the sound? Sound waves inside sound. the glass. What's making the sound waves? Friction. It's vibrating. It's vibrating. How do you... Vibrations set up waves, pressure waves in the air, and that's what we hear as sound. So could you see vibrations? No. No. Maybe we can show it. Let me try something here. Let's see if we can show the vibration. I'm going to take a paper clip, hang it on the edge there. Give it a second here. And... So far, what have we established? We have two glasses of wine. Or, no, we don't even have that. It's a cheap show. We have two glasses of water. We made them vibrate. Now, Al's violin. It's very nice. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. And it has a little cigar box here for resonance. The same way that little pin resonated on that second glass, when you add a chamber alongside a stringed instrument, the chamber resonates in sympathy with the strings, and that's what gives extra sound, extra quality of sound to the vibrating strings. But in order to make the, in order to get sound out of the music, out of the vibrating strings, you have to make them vibrate, right? Right. right. So can you play the violin, sir? We're gonna treat. We're gonna train you. I'd like you to take that bow and just draw it back and forth across the strings a little bit. <laughs> it's horrible. It kill our ears, though. <laughs> I am, a, I am a professional. Okay. <laughs> Not sounding very good at all. You know what? You want, you want to know something? I cheated. I gave you a bow without any rosin on it. Oh, no. If you feel this bow, does it feel nice and smooth? Smooth and slippery? Yeah, it feels smooth and slippery, right? Let's try a bow that has a bit of rosin on it. Like this. Well, that sounds pretty awful still, isn't it? Oh, it's out of tune. Oh, that's much better. Yes. Try with the, uh, redeem yourself with the, with the rosin bow there. Redeem myself, redeem yourself. <laughs> It's not beautiful, but it's a market improvement, right? Much better. Right, right. Which is, brings us to the question of why do we have rosin on the bow? It increases like, friction on the strings. That's exactly what it does. The rosin on the bow makes, a, makes the strings louder. When you add the rosin, it provides a little bit of stickiness, right? It grabs a little bit of friction, so it grabs the string and then lets it go, and then grabs it again, and then lets it go. And that sets up the vibration. So you get much stronger vibration. The loudness of the sound you get out of this object is a function of how much, it, of how deep the amplitude is, how far the vibration is up and down. It's easy to vibrate a string, right? What about vibrating something like this? A nice little vibration out of it. But what if you wanted to do it just by stroking it like a string. It's smooth, it's, not, it's, it's smooth, and that's a problem. Bring your ear up really closely. Can you hear something? Do it again? Yeah, a little bit at the end. What happens if we add a little bit of rosin to the equation? So remember, remember, what does the rosin do? It increases the friction. Which does what? Which increases the vibration. Which increases the vibration. When you increase the vibration, you get bigger waves, deeper waves. The higher amplitude the waves, the louder the sound's gonna be. Definitely hear that. 
So just a little bit of rosin, just that little bit of rosin is enough not only to cause the strings to vibrate better, but it also gives me a little bit of friction between my fingers and this and gets this thing vibrating.